Outbreak of canine influenza across the country. Should Reno dog owners worry? Landon Miller talked with a local vet to get the answer. March 18th, Susan Cook was sitting in this exact spot when the phone rang. Dr. Fletcher called and said he had just expired. Cook's show dog, Cracker Jack, died in Louisiana, only nine months old. They did blood and urine tests on Cracker Jack to figure out why he died so suddenly. The teaching hospital, the state of Louisiana, uh, sent all of the tissue samples back with the information that, that identified it as the canine influenza. Less than a dozen dogs have actually died from the H2N3 string nationwide, but over 1,200 have been infected. But it is a Midwest problem primarily. Dr. Rob Kokonar with Clitch Animal Hospital says Reno dog owners shouldn't worry yet for that reason. The influenza starts out as a cough and becomes much worse. These animals can become uh, feverish. They can uh, uh, not eating, lethargic and the normal types of malaise that can occur as with, as with any, any cough. Dr. Kokenauer says the virus is passed along very easily at places like this, the dog park. It spreads through contact with other dogs, usually when they rub noses at a dog park or when they're out for a walk. And certainly gives us the potential and possibility of this uh, virus, you know, coming here. But for Cook, dog influenza wasn't a possibility, it was reality. It was my second generation show dog and it was really sad, he was quite beautiful. Cracker Jack died only four hours after being taken to the vet. To pass like that at nine months old, it was a heartbreaker. Covering the story, Landed Miller, Channel 2 News. And Dr. Kokenauer tells us there is not a vaccine for the H3N2 flu strain just yet.